Hi, everybody. Hello, Melbourne. It's nice to be here in Melbourne. This is a city that you've turned your uh, weaknesses into your strengths. You really have. This whole thing about four seasons in one day, that is, uh, it's not a good thing. That's, uh, <laughs> whose idea was to, to sell that, you know? If I have a schizophrenic friend, I don't like, I take him to get help. I don't, uh, I don't sell tickets, you know? Yeah, I'm from uh, America, and as an American, can I tell you, um, I haven't had a conversation in about a year that hasn't ended with, well, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a real interesting Armageddon, you know? Uh, <laughs> I went to an election viewing party. Those turned around so quickly. I, I don't know uh, if you've ever been to a party that became not a party in the middle. Halfway through, everyone just went, I guess I'm gonna go watch this alone in the dark. <laughs> So now I'm here, traveling alone. I'm uh, single. I don't know if I need to say that out loud, but I'm, uh, I'm trying not to be single, which sounds desperate, doesn't it? You shouldn't say that out loud. I mean, it's true, but there's no woman in earshot of that statement going, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> dibs on that smiley, desperate fella over there. But I don't even know how to find somebody, you know? How do you meet somebody? What do you, people are always telling me, you gotta meet somebody on the internet, but they do it with this attitude like, I would never, but I think that's a good idea for you. <laughs> you know people like that? There are people in here right now on like their second or third internet date just both looking straight ahead going, please drop this topic. <laughs> they don't even want to admit it to each other, you know? But I know these solid couples who meet on the internet, long-term couples, married couples, you ask them, how did you meet? This is what happens. The women go, we met on the internet. And then the men go, please stop telling people that. Now, I think <laughs> it's because the attitude is a little different. When a woman gets on the internet to meet someone, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, but I feel like the attitude is, I'm just exploring my options. When a man gets on the internet to meet someone, do you know what the attitude is? I have depleted all my options. <laughs> There is nowhere else to go. Let's search the universe, because that's all that's left. It's just a Hail Mary pass into the ether. Is anybody open? And somebody catch that, please. I'm not dating anymore, I'm data mining. I'm just, I'm just swimming through ones and zeros. Is anybody in here? Give me a landline, help! Hey, I'm not much of an athlete. I, uh, I don't know if I need to tell you that either. Is it apparent? I was watching the Olympics. The Olympics is a unifying thing in the world. It's so inspiring. I love the Olympics. Every time they roll around, I have this thought, though, in the back of my head, like, one year I'm going to pull it together. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I think there is a place for me in the Olympics. Now, this is a bold statement, but hear me out. All these athletes are competing at such elite levels and all competing against other elite athletes and winning by the very narrowest of margins. It's very difficult to have perspective, you know? What we need is a control group. Do you understand? <laughs> Let's insert an average human into each one of these events. Can you imagine Michael Phelps hoarding medals one after another has yet again won this race, but this race is not over because here comes Tim from Human Resources. <laughs> Did you notice that Tim decided to wear board shorts uh, for this event? That's gotta create some drag, but maybe those flippers that the officials seem to be overlooking will make up the difference. Let's hope so for Tim's sake. Thank you very much, Melvin, I appreciate it, thank you.